everyone, my name is Marcus. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Reef Nerd. Today, I'm reviewing a new salt. It's the Aquarium Systems Instant Ocean Salt out of France. Instant Ocean Salt is a well-known salt out of America. It's actually different to this one. Uh, I think they license the same name, but this is the French version. There's Made in France logos all over this box. My understanding is the French version is incredibly popular in Europe and is one of the most popular salts in the region. Not new to Australia, but I think it's getting a bit of a resurgence. A lot of the local fish stores around Melbourne are now stocking it. I got this one from Reef Gallery here in South Melbourne. As you can see, I'm mixing up a small amount of the salt. This is exactly 35 grams of salt for one litre of our ODI water, um, which should mix to 1.025 parts per million. And it took me about 90 seconds for, uh, of, of gentle mixing for this salt to turn completely clear with no sediment left uh, or no undissolved parts. You might notice with this salt that it's an extremely fine consistency, almost like caster sugar. Pairing that to other salts that I've used, which are uh, much more flaky or light, more like a sand type consistency, uh, I think the finer consistency is what helps this salt dissolve really quickly. For me, that's important because I've just recently set up an auto water change system and I don't want my reservoir to build up with undissolved sediment uh, because it will be really difficult for me to clean over time. After about 90 seconds of mixing, I would say it was 99.5% clear. I left it for another five minutes and came back and it looked 100% clear in my glass bowl. Next I did an alkalinity check. You can see here I'm running the alkalinity test. I actually ran the test twice just to be 100% sure. I got the same result both times with my HANA DKH checker and that was 11.2. So a little bit high on the alkalinity scale. Um, I know a lot of people with SPS tanks do run their alkalinity a little higher. For my mixed reef 11.2 is a little bit high for my comfort zone but given that I'm doing an auto water change system, I'm not too concerned because I'm only changing about 1% a day. So essentially that extra alkalinity is just a buffering, no different to adding two part or dosing calcosa or running a calcium reactor. The auto water change will contribute to keeping the alkalinity at my standard level, which is around eight, as the corals uh, consume alkalinity from the tank. Up until this point in time, I've used Red Sea Blue Bucket. And as you can see, I've had great results with Red Seed Blue Bucket. The main reason why I'm trying something new is because of my auto water change system. I've noticed that the Red Seed Blue Bucket salt does leave a bit of a residue in the plastic tub that I use to mix it, which has not really been of concern to me up until this point because I've done manual water changes. Now that I have my auto water change system set up, I'm going to be mixing up a lot, much larger batches of salt. The impact on the tank will be minor because with auto water changes, I'm only changing one or two percent a day. So there'll be no sudden shock to the system. It'll be a very slow transition from the tank's perspective to the new salt. This has been a quick video on why I've gone with Aquarium Systems Instant Ocean. Hopefully it'll do really well for me in my auto water change system. In the next video, I'm going to go into a lot more detail on my auto water change system and how that's set up and how that works. I've been getting a lot of questions about that. Thanks everyone. Don't forget to subscribe. My name is Marcus, you've been watching the Reef Nerd YouTube channel.